Once a year, Maui's art community comes together for its largest juried show. With hundreds of entries, Art Maui has become the most well-attended show of the year. From its humble beginnings 30 years ago, its goals were simple. Give exposure to island artists, encourage them to experiment, and expand the viewer's notion about art. I don't know if the original artists ever guessed what Art Maui would become so many years later. It has evolved into an event that is engaging to both artist and viewer alike. Big congratulations to Carmen Gardner, whose watercolor Chioko was voted publicity image of the year. In the difficult medium of watercolor, Carmen is able to create depth and detail while capturing the elegance of everyday life. Juried shows are by their nature eclectic. You won't like everything you see, but you're sure to find gems that delight and inspire. One of my favorite pieces is Kurt Kirikawa's Downtown. I love the mastery he has of lights and darks. You really get a feeling of the light hitting the woman on the street. I love the way her hair reflects the light and the details that are in her face. The type of exposure Art Maui can bring to a young artist's career can really help launch them, like this piece by Chelsea Fashholtz. The small pastel really showcases a talent for a young artist Look at all the wonderful light she's able to create. You really get the feeling of a little bit of water hitting the road at the end of the day. There's so many nice little details. Art Maui is an event that keeps well-known, experienced artists like Tom Sewell motivated to create work that is new and innovative. About a month before Art Maui, I was having a dinner party. Had eight people sitting around my big round table. And uh, at the end of the dinner, I started photographing their faces. I had them put their chins down on the table and I took a picture of each person. And uh, I didn't really know where I was going with it. I had another idea, but it didn't work out. So uh, it grew out of that. And it was wonderful to have this deadline of the uh, you know, Art Maui motivation. I love this beautiful pastel and charcoal by Richard Hefner called A Poet's Silk. It has a wonderful energy in it. Look at all the beautiful line quality he's able to create and all the great characters he's able to put into his paintings. I love the way he uses the pastel and the charcoal together, giving that beautiful dark black against all the great colors he's able to create in the pastel. I chose this piece as one of my favorites because I just love the colors. I've seen much glass by Bill and Sally Wooster and I've never seen these colors from them before. The beautiful brown next to the aqua is really an exciting combination of warm against cool and the shape is fantastic. The bigger the glass, the harder it is to do and this one has such nice depth and nice character. Major events like Art Maui bring the community together and push artists to create. It's one of the reasons Maui has such a successful art scene. I'm Stephanie Sachs. Ahui ho.